Today we will talk about how to enter the program being done under Flora QR code in EcoClub Forest Life. We are going to put the entire process step by step in simple and clear words. I would like to tell you. Before this, we released a video in which it was told how you can make a QR code of the information of a tree and how you have to put it on the tree. This work is to be done in every school of our country India. So you watch this video. Today we will talk about its further process. First of all we have to reach this website. For this, open any browser in your mobile, computer, laptop and type ecoclub.gov.in. I have given this link in the description of this video. You will reach here and after reaching here the page will appear like this. Now in this you can click on each of their options and see what information has been given. I have studied it completely and am doing it too. Now let's discuss what is important. Here first of all you have to log in. When you click on login, two options will come, school login, faculty login. So now we have to work on school login. Faculty login requires a secret token which has not been received yet. So now we will click on school login. After this, here you have to fill the UDICE code of your school. Now click on the send OTP option here. An OTP will be sent to the mobile number registered in your UDICE code. Also to the email address. So you can see that this is the mobile number whose first digit is given. The OTP of our school has been sent on this. So let's see this. I have entered the OTP. Now the CAPTCHA code that is visible here will be typed exactly. Now from here click on submit. Login is done. Now here is the name of my school and here is the dashboard. You will see in the dashboard, the number 1 is visible. But when you open the dashboard for the first time, the number will appear more here. At that time, when you use it for the first time, here you will see the numerical information of all the events happening in the whole country of India. But once you create an event for your school, your school's dashboard appears. Like here is my school's dashboard. Okay? Now before moving forward from here, we have to select the language. This website is in English by default. If you are comfortable working in English, then you can keep it as it is. But if you want to change its language, then you will see here at the bottom there is an option of set language. You will click on it and here you will get the option of different languages. Select the language that you find familiar from it. I am choosing Hindi. After that, click on I agree. So now the language of our dashboard has become Hindi by default. Now you will see here there is an option of create program. We will click on it. Now we have to enter here in relation to the event of QR code that we are going to do. So first of all the name of the program is done. In this you have to write the name of your program. Like we write Flora QR code tagging. We have written the name Flora QR code tagging because I have made the language of this website Hindi by default. So here even if I write in English, it will be shown in Hindi. Now here you have to write a brief description of the program that how you have to work here. So here we write, first of all you can see, I have written that first of all the group of students will get information about a tree and make a QR code under the guidance of the teacher and put it on the tree then people will be told about it. So I wrote this small brief method. Now here the mission life theme has to be selected. I would like to tell you that there are different activities to be done in Eco Club for inclusion life and here this QR code activity will come. Adopt a healthy lifestyle. Under this we have to select it. After this mission life will select it and what are we going to do? We are going to work on Flora QR code. So we will select it. After this, the way of implementation, how do we have to work, digitally or physically because we will be present there ourselves, so we will do it here physically. After this, what is the type of program? Is it only work or is it to spread awareness? So here we will work as well as spread awareness. So here both work and awareness are done. After this, how many programs do you have to do there? So I am doing one program here for an example. 
you can do it according to your convenience when to do it so here we have decided the date of an event because it is starting from the 22nd of april and i have created an event for the 22nd of april so here i am doing it on the 23rd of april because this program is to be held from 22nd to the 30th of april mainly you all have to make it for the 22nd of april i have made it for the 22nd of april made it the 23rd of april after that at what time so our school timing is in the morning right now so right now we are doing it at nine o'clock o'clock right now we are doing its timing at nine o'clock o'clock so you can see that this is for hours and here it is for minutes so you can see that it is nine o'clock o'clock now it is selected here after this the state and district are by default here we write the name of the city here as Kara. okay after that we will submit it as soon as we submit the first work is completed in which we can see that now i have created this on the 22nd of april here you can see that this is of the 22nd of April and this is the program that I have just created for the 23rd of April. You can see three statuses in it. Pending, approved, rejected. Pending means that the event that we have created right now has not been approved further because it is pending. When will it be approved? When it will be approved by our principal, then it will appear here like this. Okay? You can see that if any program is not approved yet and rejected, then it can be rejected, then it will be visible in it. So this pending approval and rejection work will be done through the principal login. We will discuss about it later. We will not do it in it right now. Now let's see further. Here after the program list, you can see there is an option of program management. You will click on it. After clicking, an option of program list comes. When you select it, the list of all the programs that you have created at your school level till now will come. You have to decide which programs list you want to write. Because tomorrow I have created a program for the 22nd, so I am going to open it. So here Flora Car Course Tagging Program is for 22nd and I created it for 23rd, so I am clicking on it. Then select the event from here. Now the details of the event have come here in which it is written Flora Car Course Tagging Program. Actually, I had typed this QR code in English. It has come in Hindi like this. Now all the selections that I have made earlier are visible here. Which includes theme, sub-theme, method of functioning, type of program, number and time. Now when do I have to fill all these information here? When this program is done, then what activities we did in that program, we have to fill it here. But what preparations have to be done for it? Watch this video for that. First of all, is there technical intervention involved in this program? That is, you used technology because we are working on QR code. Then here it will be yes because we will not be able to pay here without mobile. Second, have all the participants taken an oath? So there is an oath in it in which we take an oath for environmental protection next you will get instructions so if all of them have taken it then it will be yes and if all have not taken it then it will be no for example suppose all did not take it then we have put no after that the number of participants has to be written on the basis of age in that program like how many were there from zero to three if zero to sorry three to eight like here how many students were there from age three to eight so if there was none then we will do zero but if it is in numbers like five then we made it five after that how many are there from age 8 to 11 so from 8 to 11 we again made it five students okay after that from 11 to 14 we made three students in it now how many students were there from 14 to 18 years so wrote it here like this now those above 18 years which includes teachers also have to be written here not only teachers but along with the teacher the number of all the people who have come with you suppose eight people had come here in this way we made it eight now the state is Chhattisgarh by default. District City District City is by default. Now you can see that it is written here geo tagged photos maximum 5 images of 1 megabyte each. What is this? At present geo tag camera is used in which location is shown. So when you do the program, you have to take photos using geo tag camera and upload at least 5 photos here. To upload, first take photos from GeoTag camera. So when you enter it again, from here you have to select choose file and after that in whichever folder you have collected photos on your mobile or laptop. As you can see, I have made these photos for thumbnail. So from these I am selecting 512345. After that open it. 
so you can see what is coming here. Only geo tagged images are allowed, so you have to put only the one with geo tag. This is not accepted, okay? So those five photos have to be uploaded here. After that, you have to write captions regarding these photos. What is caption is to write one or two lines about the photo we have taken. After that, you have to upload maximum three videos here. So the size of the video should not be more than 5 megabytes each. Okay, so what will you do for this? Just like we make a small video for status, similarly you make a small video and upload it here. Along with this, you have to write the video caption that what you have shown in that video. This has to be written here and the number of plants planted in the house, that is, if you have planted trees at the place where you are doing the event, then write its number. If not, then make it zero. After that, if you have also planned a tour in relation to this, then you can write its number. The number of trees labeled with QR code, the number of trees on which you have put QR code, you have to write it, like we have done four trees here. Now after that, you will see here that there is an update option. You update it. It has been updated. Now after updating, you can see here that all these things have come in this program which was of the 22nd of April. After this, you will see that there is an eco calendar here. What you will see in the eco calendar is that which programs you have organized in your school till now. So you can see that these are the upcoming programs which are in blue color. Color has a lot of importance in this. Now three types of colors will be mentioned here. First green color, second red color, third blue color. What does green color tell that if the program has been organized by the Ministry of Education, then if green color is seen here, it means that the program has been released by the Ministry of Education. Red color means that your event is passed. That is, its time has passed and this blue color means future. Okay, now after that we will see the program assignment. When you click on the program assignment, the list of events will come here first. Like there are two programs here. Here is the QR code. Now register faculty here. The faculty has to hand over the charge of this program here. Okay, this has to be handed over. For this, you can see here that my name is coming. And this name will not come in yours. For this, you will have to enter it. The process of entering is that there is an option of faculty management here. In faculty management, you will write the name of the teacher to whom you want to give different effects. Write the email address. Write the employee ID. The employee ID can be your state ID. And since we are working on UDICE, the best thing would be to enter the national ID of the employee received in UDICE here. Then enter the mobile number here and in this way the name of a faculty will appear in the list here. Now you can see here that my name is active and here it is deactivate. If I want to deactivate myself here, then I will click deactivate here. It will become inactive. Since it has been activated, there is no need to deactivate. So I am not doing it here. We were talking about the assignment of the program. So when we hand over the charge of this program, it will be here for that. Like we clicked it here, the list of all your registered faculty will come up. My name is coming here. Then assign the work of the event, that is, I have got the charge of this program. I have to get this program done. After this, you can see that we have discussed about setting the language. You can set this language according to your convenience. We will discuss about cooperation later. So, what do you have to do now? Now you have to make the program in today's date. After making the program, when your program will be held on the 22nd of April or the day your program is held, some photos etc. have to be tagged in it. It would be best if you open your mobile on the same day when you do the program and submit it. Submit the photo of the program. The way you select edit here, after that you will directly open the camera and upload all the photos here. After that you will update it. After updating, your work will be done. There are many more processes in this ahead. But now you just do this much. What else is to be done, we will discuss in the next video. Do tell us how you liked this video. And I am also studying this website. If you find something new, please comment. We will discuss about that too. See you on a new video. Namaskar.